This candle tastes funny. Not bad, but funny. In 1,000 feet, you have arrived. Welcome to Kay's Road Treasure. Uber, Lyft, Uber Eats, DoorDash. We've got you covered. And now, let's talk about it. If you have seen teasers to the Uber Eats Super Bowl commercials and you're wondering what in the world is going on, you're not alone. Uber Eats Super Bowl's commercials have featured celebrities eating weird stuff. For example, Trevor Noah eating a bite off of a deodorant or Gwyneth Paltrow taking a bite of a candle. Very vulgar candle that I can't even mention the name for it. And you can see their packages have other things in there. But they are not edible stuff either. It's supposed to be Uber Eats commercials, right? Today, as an Uber Eats driver, who's also a diamond driver, I'm going to explain to you exactly what Uber means in this commercial. But to understand this better, let's go ahead and see exactly what Uber Eats deliveries entails. So, as an Uber Eats driver, when I activate deliveries, I expect to get orders from different places. During the pandemic, places like Walmart, Apple, Sephora, all contacted Uber, and they're using drivers like me to deliver their stuff especially same-day delivery orders. I think other companies like Apple, Sephora, and Walmart are actually exploiting us as drivers, but that's a conversation for another day. But as of today, I want to explain to you exactly what uh, Uber means when they show you these commercials that are supposed to be delivering food, but these celebrities are actually taking bites off of things that are not supposed to be food. Deliveries have not only food, but they have other things, for example, if you order an Apple computer and it's the same day delivery, Apple contacts Uber and Uber sends in a driver to pick up your order and then deliver it to you. But the computer is not a eat, is it? So it's not something to eat, but it's also delivered through Uber Eats. This is what in the uh, commercials they're trying to uh, show you guys here. They're trying to show you that Uber Eats delivers not only food, but also other things. Under deliveries, there's another service called Shop and Pay. This is for stores like Walgreens and CVS. And there's many others, but it's mostly Walgreens and CVS. We also deliver liquor, but uh, for Shop and Pay, Uber drivers go in and we're the ones who pick out your stuff from the counter and go ahead and pay for it, all right? And then when we pay for it with these cards that uh, Uber sends us, um, we pick it up. We uh, from the uh, aisles, we pay for it and then we bring it to you. And these most of the times are not even foodstuffs. There's a lot of foodstuffs in there. Sometimes there's candy, there is, you know, popcorn and all that stuff, juice, water. But it's not only uh, eats, there is other things. There's makeup, you know, there is paper towels. There's a whole lot of other stuff in there that we do. For example, if you look at this order, you can see in here I was buying a lot of things, but not all of it is food. So Uber Eats is not just it. It has a lot of other things that, you know, are entitled, I mean, are entailed in it. It's not just food. Uh, services under, you know, Uber Deliveries, which are also Uber Eats, this this is a little bit, it's a little bit uh, different. It's not under deliveries, it's connect. It's not in all, you know, uh, market areas. It's in different other, for example, I work in metropolitan Boston area. And when I cross over and go into Rhode Island, uh, into Providence, this service does not is not available there. It's only uh, available in the Boston and Massachusetts area. Uh, this is used by common people just like you and me. If you have something, say you have a birthday gift for somebody, but you don't want to drive to their house, this is a, uh, the service that you use. Uh, you just order through Uber Connect, and then I come to your house, uh, during the pandemic, it was curbside pickup. So usually I can park my car maybe in your driveway or on the side of the road. And then you give me whatever you're giving me. It could be an envelope. It could be something big. I've delivered strollers. I've delivered computers. I've delivered a lot of stuff. So what happens is I come to you. You give me the stuff. And then, of course, the address is in the system and everything. Well, you want me to take it? And I deliver it to the person you want me to take it to. It could be live at the door where I just put it on somebody's door where I'm taking it and snap a picture of it. Or it could be handing it to that person also on the cab. And this is never food. It's always different other things. Gifts mostly, computers, you know, and stuff that is used in the house. Also, people who sell stuff online, for example, through Macari or OfferUp, uh, uh, also use this service. 
when you sell something to somebody but they want you to deliver it to them, you can order through Uber Connect and then I'll deliver that stuff to that person. Uh, so I thought me as a driver who understands how the system works should explain this to you guys because I had over the week people were really, really confused about how uh, and why Uber has teasers uh, on that are going to be airing during the Super Bowl this weekend and they were not showing food and people were not understanding exactly what's going on when they see somebody taking a bite off of a candle or when they see somebody taking a bite off of deodorant. Oh, when they see like this girl eating makeup and stuff. They were not understanding exactly what's happening. But Uber is just trying to show you that we don't only deliver food. We have other services that are in there, that are embedded in there. But just like I mentioned before, some of these companies, like Apple especially, Walmart, they tag up a bunch of orders and they want you to do it. And it's usually very, very little money. But that's a conversation for another day. If you guys want me to explain that to you, you can also let me know in the comment section below. But as for now, I wanted to explain what exactly Uber means when they show you uh, these ads or these commercials that are going to be airing during the Super Bowl that we're leaving everybody confused. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you again in another video. But as for now, bye bye. It tastes like purple. Yes. Oh, I love this. Oh my God.